Post Malone has emerged as one of the most distinctive voices in the contemporary music scene. He's renowned for his genre-blending approach, merging elements of rap, rock, pop and more. His tracks often feature atmospheric production with dreamy soundscapes. He continuously experiments and evolves, ensuring his sound remains fresh and relevant with each release. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down how I reproduced one of his most recent songs, Morning. And you can take all the tools and techniques that I'm gonna share in this video and apply them to your own productions. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, let's jump in. So as always, let's have a listen through and then we'll break everything down in detail. So let's start with the drums. So we've got the kick. And all I'm doing here is a little bit of compression, letting the transient come through. And then I'm doing some transient shaping because I wanted a little bit more attack because there's a fat 808 and I want it to cut through. That's without. That's with. So you can see I've taken some sustain out and then I've boosted some of the transient and then I'm kind of doing the same thing with compression. And then we've got some claps. So I've got two layered claps. I've got that one and then this one. So they're kind of these organic ones. And what I've done here is I've just staggered the second clap so it's a little bit later. It makes it slightly looser and more organic feeling. And on this first clap, I've got some sample delay and I'm just making it wider and then a little bit of reverb and on the claps group itself I've just got a transient designer getting rid of some sustain pitching it up a semitone and then just a little EQ and finally a soft plate got a little bit of chorus like a touch just for a bit of width and dimension some more reverb and an EQ just shaving off some of the lows and highs so together with the kick and claps and then we've just got a hi-hat. I just got this from Splice. It's like a, a hip hop hat. I've just done a little bit of finessing, EQ'd some of the top ends, and then just brought it into the center rather than having it wide with the directional mixer. And I've done a little bit of velocity work as well. So I wanna accent the downbeat and I've done that like that. So, and all together that sounds like this. And finally, on the drums group, I've just got some saturation and a touch of EQ, just finessing the high end. There was a little bit of harshness there for me. And that's it for the drums. So let's move on to the 808. This is really the meat of the song. So I have this sample here. I just faded it because it was just going on for too long and it's it's got less of a sustain and it kind of just bounces. It's a very bouncy 808. It sounds like this. I've added a ton of saturation. And I wanted to add a little bit of source and width to it. So I'm sending it to this bus and I've taken out all of the lows and low mids. So I'm just letting all of 700 and above breathe. I've cranked up Decapitator. And then what I've done here on the gain is I've just inverted the phase. And what that's gonna do is create width. So let's hear it without. And let me just pull it up for demonstration purposes and let's hear it with. So it's creating width and it's also saturating all of the mids and above. So it's gonna help it to cut through as well. And then I'm just blending that in more subtly. All right, so let's move on to guitars. So for the guitars, I don't have an acoustic guitar and I also don't play acoustic guitar very well. So we're using strummed acoustic contact and I'm using the country and then we've just picked the key and we're playing the chords. So we've got strummed acoustic. Mm -hmm. 
it's a super simple chord progression. We're in A major and we're just going from the one to the four. So it's just going one, four, one, four. That's the, the chord progression, super simple, but it's, it's really pretty. And then we're layering the strummed acoustic with picked acoustic, and we've got this going on. And then we've just doubled it. So it's just gonna create width. So that's in the center. And then doubling it is putting it out here. And together. Beautiful. And then we're just doing some EQ. So just getting rid of some of the, the mids and some of the highs. Then we just have a piano that is holding down the chords. So pretty. So a tip if you want your VST pianos to sound more realistic, just double the octave down. So we already have the the bass notes here, but I've just doubled them down just to give it more weight and body. That's actually what's going on in the reference track, but it just makes it sound more real, like you have a full a full length piano rather than just, you know, a small keyboard. And we're just using Addictive Keys Studio Grand. I literally pulled it up, didn't do anything with it. It's just the first thing that comes up. And then I'm just doing some EQ, pulling out the lows because we've got a fat 808 taking that up and some of the low mids and then sample delay again just to pull it out of the center and that's it all right so my favorite part of the song by a long stretch is all the atmos so there's quite a few little things going on here but what they're doing is they're creating movement and intrigue they're tickling the listener's ear and it's also gluing everything together because without that it would just be drums guitar 808 and piano and it would just sound quite sparse so for the main foundational elements, we have this pad. So it's just holding down the root note. I'm using Serum for that. I'm using this Meltdown preset from Make Pop Music, getting rid of all of the, the lows and some of the low mids. And I'm using Shaper Box to create the 16th note kind of stuttering that's going on. And I'm using the volume module for that. And then I'm going to pan and then I'm just gently panning it 50% and every four bars, it's like moving from left to right. And I'm just blending that in. And then I'm just sending it to my instrument long reverb, which is Verb Suite, doing the old Abbey Road trick. And I'm just pushing that further back because it's uh, uh, quite a tucked back part of the, the mix. So without it, it just sounds like a standard synth preset. and that's how it sounds with all the processing. Okay, the next element is these drones. So I have this airy drone, which I bounced out from this pack, Aura. It's from Output. This is kind of my staple for any kind of Atmos stuff. I use Aura and I use another pack, which I'm gonna show you later on. So I just bounce this. It's just an airy drone, again, just holding down the, the root note of the chord. And then we have a second drone. So it's like an organic piano and it's just playing this gentle arpeggio. And I'm just doing some EQ, some of the lows and low mids. And that's holding down the mid range as well within the, the Atmos. And then I've got another drone, which is from another pack of Aura. just got this gentle sort of LFO thing going on and then we're getting rid of the lows and low mids and then a final drone we just have this string drone it's from Spitfire Audio's Intimate Strings so I've just got two octaves droning and then some of the extra fun saucy parts are these strings that come in at this point here and I'm using U-Jam strings. So we've got this friendly ARP, I've just picked the key. So it's just playing D major and then from the second part onwards it just plays the, the chord progression. Yeah. 
super subtle. I've done a little bit of processing within the plugin itself. So I've gotten rid of the low strings because we don't need those. Done the, the wide hall ambience up a bit, boosted the finisher a little bit and the character effects. I've just chosen mid cut and I want to get rid of the mids because there's a lot of mid range information going on with all of the other elements. And of course there would be vocals as well. So I'm just making sure that that's not taking up too much of that energy. And then finally for the, the Atmos section, I'm using Distant Voices, which is the other range of packs that I use a ton for creating Atmos like this. I'm just having a little play around with these coming in and out. really really pretty and quite tucked back but yeah just such source and I've just played around with the dark verb some air and just made the tone kind of closer to the reference and we want it to be more felt than than heard really and then the final bit are these atmospheric ad libs in the the reference this is kind of the main audible thing that's going on around post Malone singing it's just me singing these ad libs what amazing singing. Terrible singing. But guess what? It's going to sound great. So I'm just putting a limiter, just tuning it because God knows we needed it. And then I'm putting a de on there. And then I'm using vocal transformer. And that's, that's the thing that's going to make this sound closer to the reference. So I'm pitching it up an octave and I'm putting the form and upper touch as well. And then we are putting a, a ton of reverb, really long decay, over 50% wet, put some pre delay to let the dry signal come through a bit more and then just doing some EQ here. And then just a little bit more EQ, there was a bit of build up in the mids and a bit in the high end, wanted less shimmer. And that sounds like this. So they're the main two, and then there's one at the end which sounds less synthetic. That's this one. So that's just me singing in falsetto. And then we're doing the same old thing, limiting, tuning, diessa, some more mid and um, high cutting, and then the same reverb but even wetter. So that's just, he sings it with a lot more grit and it sounds sick. That is pretty much it. So let's have a listen to the, the Atmos all together. beautiful so that's really the thing that's that's gluing everything together like if we just quickly listen to to like a quick section of it without all the atmos it sounds fine like there's you know nothing wrong with it you could write to it it would probably still be a great song with you know great vocals and and doubles and and all of that stuff but when you bring all of this in absolute perfection it just takes it to a whole new level and that's the entire song the rest is just the vocals so that's it hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you found this helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you want to see how to get the charlie xex sound click the video right here and until next time create courageously